Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma Pigeon and I will be guiding you through a express yoga flow this morning. We're gonna aim for about 30 minutes. Um, fun fact is when I film a lot of these videos, my goal is to make them shorter and they always end up being like longer, like 50 to 60 minutes. So today, if I speak it in the beginning, it has to be 30 minutes. So 30 minute class, that's it. You're in, you're out lunch break, morning flow, whenever you have time to squeeze it in. Let's go ahead and quit wasting time. We're gonna get started in a standing forward fold. Near the top of your mat, let your head hang heavy. Your arms can dangle towards the mat or you could grab opposite elbows. Feel free to bend your knees a lot here so it might look a little bit more like a mix of a squat and a fold, that's okay. Focus more on relieving pressure in your spine. So as the tailbone lifts up, the crown of the head sinks. Feel free to add a little sway side to side. Now once you're here in this forward fold, bring some awareness to your breath. You might notice you have to put a little bit more effort behind your inhale when you're upside down to feel like you get completely full all the way into those lower lungs, lower ribs. And exhale, might feel a little bit more easy, more natural as you press all that air out, starting from the low belly, pressing out the air from your lungs. Again, inhale, sucking in some air through your nose. All the way, and exhale. Let's do one more big breath in. And exhale. Release your hands, turn your toes out, drop down towards a yogi squat. You can always sit on a block here. Hands can be at heart center, or we're gonna take a twist. I want your right hand to grab your left ankle, lean to your right. Right hand, grab your left ankle, lean to your right. Your left arm can reach up overhead like a side stretch, or you could even take your left hand behind your head and try to look up at the ceiling. So you feel a nice big lengthen through your left side. Stamp your heels down for three, two, and one. Come back through center. Left hand, grab your right ankle and lean to your left. Reach your right arm up overhead. Feel that nice side body stretch. Or take your right hand behind your skull and lean more to the left. Look up at the ceiling. Stamp your heels for three, two, and one, back through center, put your hands down and lift your hips. Walk your feet in about the width of your hips and on your inhale, lift up halfway, flatten your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Last time, lift up halfway and fold. Step your left foot back. You're in a runner's lunge and we'll take the left knee down. Spend a few moments bending and straightening into your legs with your back knee down. So moving kind of between like a low runner's lunge and a half split. And then we'll meet in a low runner's lunge. Your left knee stays down, reach both arms up. Melt your hips forward and relax your shoulders. Clasp your hands behind your back or grab your left wrist and press that into your tailbone as you lean back. Lift your sternum, press your spine in towards your heart. Squeeze your legs, firm your left glute for three, two, one. Release that, put your hands down. Swing your right leg back behind you and take some hip circles in a tabletop. So right leg is lifted. We do this a lot in down dog, but right now we're in a tabletop, circling out the right leg and go the other direction. Put your right knee onto the mat and take a few rounds of cat-cow. On your inhale, arch your back, look up at your ceiling. On your exhale, round your spine, try to find your belly button. Again, inhale, arch all the way to the top of your breath. And exhale, round all the way to the bottom of the breath. Let's do three more. Last two. And one. Mm -hmm. 
Make your way back to downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, send your hips to the sky. Feel free to pedal out your legs a little bit. Shake out your head. Always feel free to adjust your hands and your feet as needed. Feel free to keep a bend in your knees and your heels lifted slightly. Focus more on your spine being nice and long. Feel the outer hips lifting, tailbone being flipped up towards the sky. Lengthen your arms and then roll yourself forward into a high plank. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Exhale, drop your knees. Modified Chaturanga. Hug your arms in, lower your chest and chin towards the mat. Press your hips down and lift your chest forward and up, Cobra Pose. Let's look over the right shoulder, try to find your right heel. Look over your left shoulder, try to find your left heel. Come back through center and find a child's pose. Knees out wide, forehead down. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, audible sigh. Same thing with your lips sealed. Deep breath in. Lips sealed, sigh. Come forward, tabletop. And then let's circle out that left leg. Big hip circles, left leg. Go one direction. And the other. Even pressure in your palms. And then step your left foot forward towards your left thumb. Feel free to adjust your hands. Like a low runner's lunge, spend a few moments bending and straightening into your legs. So between that low lunge and half splits. We'll meet in a low lunge. Left knee bend, reach both arms up. Melt your hips forward and relax your shoulders. Clasp your hands behind your back or grab your right wrist. Inhale, lift your sternum and lean back. Press the top of your right ankle down. Lift your chin, feel a stretch through your throat, all the way through your abdomen. And release, put your hands on the mat, tuck your right toes. Step your right foot up to meet your left foot. On your inhale, lift up halfway. On your exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, come all the way up to stand. Once you get there, interlace your fingers and release your index finger. Zip up your legs, squeeze your inner thighs. Exhale, lean over to the right. Light toes, heavy heels, firm your glutes, melt your shoulders away from your ears. Squeeze your right oblique like a side crunch. Inhale, come back up through center and exhale, take it over to the left. Knit your ribs in, pull your belly button back, and you lean a little more to the left. Inhale up through center. Keep your arms or cactus arms lean back. Weight to heels, hips forward. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bend your knees and sweep your arms back. Roll your shoulders onto your back. Sink a little bit lower. Imagine you could touch the mat. Hands sweep down and then up for Utkatasana chair pose. Sit down a little bit lower. Gentle tuck of your pelvis for three. Sit down lower, two. One, forward fold. On your inhale, lift up halfway. On your exhale, put your hands down. Step back or jump back, Chaturanga. You can take that modified Chaturanga like we already did or full Chaturanga. Inhale to Upward Facing Dog or Cobra, squeeze your thighs. Exhale to Downward Facing Dog, send your hips up and back. Take a moment here, find your breath, even in, even out through your nose if possible. Now if you need to lift your right leg up to get momentum, go for it. Otherwise, let's just inhale, prepare. Exhale, step your right foot forward. Spin your back heel down and rise up, warrior one. Reach both arms up. Relax your shoulders. Bind your hands behind your back. Inhale, lift your chest. Keep your legs strong and sturdy. Exhale, dive, humble warrior. Drop down inside your right thigh. Swing your hips a little to the left. Keep squeezing that left leg nice and strong for three. Two. And one, inhale, pulls you back up. Use your back muscles. Turn your right toes in, left toes out. Take a warrior two to the back of your mat. Press the knees away from each other. Knit your ribs in. So if you're sticking your butt out behind you, try to tuck your tailbone. 
Straighten your legs, press the ball of your left foot down, reverse triangle. Left arm reaching up, feel that nice long side body stretch. Then rebend your left knee for side angle. Bring your elbow to your thigh, or if you have a block, you can bring your left hand down. Avoid dumping into the left side. Feel a spiral of your chest up. The right arm can be reaching up or extending, utita. Roll to the outer edge of your right foot. So really pressing that down like you're trying to lift the arch for three, two, Flying monkey to the front of your mat, one. Sink into your right hip and flex your left toes. Feel this left thigh externally rotate. So the inner thigh is coming up and the outer thigh is dropping down behind you. If you need to lift your right heel, go for it. Stay here or maybe you open your arms. You could also take your left peace sign fingers and grab your big toe. Look up at your right hand as you reach it in the opposite direction for three. Two, one, both hands down, pivot towards the front of your mat and drop your back knee. Inhale, reach both arms up, low lunge, face the front of your mat. Prayer twist, hook your left elbow outside of your right knee, press your right palm down into your left palm. Stack your elbows and then tuck your left toes, pick your left knee up. Notice if your right knee is falling in towards your midline, press it back out, press the back of your left knee up, stay here and breathe for three. Two, one, look down, hands to the mat, shorten your stance, pyramid pose. Straight er legs, little bend right knee if you need. Squeeze your legs towards each other and fold. Three. Two. And one, look forward, let's go half moon. Right hand down, open up towards the left. Flex your left foot. Knit your ribs in. The more you squeeze your glute muscles together, the more your hips will rotate externally. Gaze down easier, gaze up harder. If you want to challenge, try to float your right hand up off the mat for three. Two. One, both hands down, Shiva squat. Take your left knee to your right calf. Sit down nice and low. Think long spine, shoulders back, gentle tuck of your chin. Now lower your left knee outside of your right ankle and come all the way down towards the seat. Your right foot is outside of your left knee. Twist to the right. Hook your left elbow over your right knee and look over your right shoulder. Keep your right sitting bone heavy and press through the ball of your right foot for three. Two. Keep your legs, unwind your torso. One, bring your hands off to the left for a little counter stretch. Dip down kind of like a push up, and then press yourself back up. Keep your left leg exactly as it is, unwind your right leg. So the right leg is going towards the back corner of your mat, bottom of the left foot to your inner right thigh. Take your right hand and reach right peace sign fingers to your big toe, left arm up and over, side stretch. Breathe deeply into your left side, Try to spiral your chest up and look up at the ceiling for three, two, one. Inhale, bring yourself back up. Put your left hand outside your left hip. Roll onto your left shin. You'll have to turn your right toes in. So the right foot is like warrior two. It's kind of like a modified side plank, but a back bend. Your hips are going a little forward. Look up at the ceiling. And then I want you to kind of shift your weight back into your left hand. This is challenging. You'll start to spin your left toes off of your mat. So the left shin pivots. As you do that, lift your left knee up off the mat and kick your left leg out for fallen triangle. So it's kind of a spin, lift, and then kick with that left leg. Hips up for three, two, one, right hand down, roll onto your right toes. We're gonna roll all the way to the outside edge of the right foot as you unwind that left leg and step the left foot behind you for wild thing. Hips up, left arm reaching for three. Two, one, left hand down, step your left foot forward towards your left thumb and spin your right heel down, warrior one, reach both arms up. 
Bind your hands behind your back. Opposite thumb on top, inhale, lean back. Exhale, humble, dive. Squeeze your legs a lot. Swing your hips to the right, torso a little left. Relax your head. Three, two, Use your upper body, pull yourself back up, left toes in, right toes out, warrior two, face the back of your mat. Bend a little more into your right leg, think 90 degrees, relax your shoulders, flip your right palm, straighten your legs, reverse triangle. Press the ball of your right foot down and reach through your fingertips. Rebend your right knee, side angle, left arm up or extending. Avoid dumping into the right side. Notice your right toes. If they're really grippy, press down more through your heel. Stay here for three, two, and one. Shift the weight into your left leg, flying monkey towards the front of your mat. Try to do the same thing you did on the other side, whether that's opening your arms, hands to the mat, or right peace sign fingers to the big toe. Reach your left arm in the opposite direction for three, Two, and one. Put your hands down, pivot towards the front of your mat and drop your back knee. Reach both arms up, low lunge. Hook your right elbow outside of your left knee and press your left palm down into your right palm. Once you get that, tuck your right toes and pick your right knee up. If the left knee is falling in towards the midline, press it back out. Engage your right leg, that's the back leg, for three. Two, and one, look down, put your hands down, shorten your stance, pyramid pose. Shift some weight into that right leg. You might feel a deeper stretch actually through the front leg as you do that. Trying to even out the weight in your legs. Squeeze your inner thighs, fold. And then let's go half moon. Left hand forward, open up to the right. Stack your hips and your shoulders. Squeeze your glute muscles together. Flex your right foot and really engage your right leg. If you want the challenge, float your left fingers off the mat for three, two, and one. Both hands down, tap your right knee to your left calf, Shiva squat with the hands on the mat. Slide your right knee all the way down outside your left ankle and take a seat. So you're set up for a seated twist, Ardha Matsyudrasana. Twist to the left. Look over your left shoulder, try to keep your left sitting bone close to the mat, and press the ball of your left foot down, twisting here for three, two, and one. Keep your legs, unwind your torso, and put your hands off to the right, little dip. Press yourself back up, keep your right leg exactly as it is, and swing your left leg back towards the other back corner of your mat. Bottom of the right foot to the inner left thigh. Take your left peace sign fingers towards your big toes and reach your right arm up. Feel a nice big side body stretch. Try to spiral your chest up towards the ceiling. Breathe into the right side for three, two, one. Sit yourself back up, right hand outside your right hip. Now you'll roll, so the left foot kind of needs to swing a little bit back. So you might want to bring the left leg a little more parallel with the long edge of your mat. Now, as you lift your hips, your left toes will turn inwards as you roll onto your right shin. So kind of like a modified side plank with a back bend. It should feel pretty nice along your abdomen and the front of your body. Now this is the tricky part. Sp kick your right foot away from you. So the right foot and shin pivots. Now roll onto the right top of the foot as you lift your knee. Now, kick your right leg out, fall in triangle for three, two, one. Left hand down, you'll roll onto the left toes, unwind the right leg, and roll all the way the opposite direction, wild thing. Left hand, left foot down, right foot steps behind for three, two, one. Put your right hand down. Slide your right knee up between your fingertips. So kind of like uh, pigeon pose, right knee between your thumbs. Now slide your left knee up behind the right. Kick your feet in opposite directions and take a seat back for cow face pose. Your right leg is on top. Now if cow face pose, 
doesn't feel good. It should feel uncomfortable. For me, I can't get my knees exactly stacked. That's okay. I more want you to focus on the sensation you're feeling. But if you don't want to do cow face, you could also do double pigeon pose or fire log pose with the right leg on top. You're gonna stack your right foot on top of your left knee, right knee on top of your left foot, add some pressure on that right knee. Either way, you're feeling a nice stretch through your outer hips. So you're in cow face pose or double pigeon pose with that right leg on top. For cow face pose, I like to take the right hand to the right knee, left hand to the left knee and kind of push the knees so that they're one on top of the other. And I like to grab the feet. Up to you, you might like to walk your hands forward. You could eagle wrap, right arm on the bottom, or you could grab hands behind your back. Up to you, we'll breathe here for three. Two. And one. Whatever you're doing with the hands, release it. Now, this is kind of, I think we've done this move before. It's kind of like a break dancing move. Start to walk your hands to the left. And as you press into your feet, lift your hips up. You're pivoting around the left. Keep going to the left. Keep going, keep going. Keep pivoting on your heels. And then eventually, again, facing the front of the mat, you'll be in cow face pose on the other side with the left leg on top. Now again, you can take cow face or double pigeon pose. For me, this side's a lot harder, so it looks even more uneven. Again, I don't want you to focus on how stacked the knees are, how pretty the pose looks. As long as you're feeling that sensation in the outer hips, you're in the right spot. Try not to force it. Just breathe into the sensation you're feeling no matter what it looks like. Try to do the same thing you did with your arms. Breathing into your hips, breathe through the discomfort. We'll be here for three. Two. And one, release whatever you're doing with your arms. Now let's just go ahead and unwind the legs. So maybe right leg first, bottom leg, and then left leg. Both legs extend forward. Wiggle into your sitting bones. Feel free to popcorn out your legs. Now wiggle into the sitting bones more so you feel your uh, pelvis tilt forward. Feel free to bend your knees. Flex your feet, reach your arms up, lengthen. Exhale, fold over your legs. Grab feet, ankles, or shins. Think about leading with your chest, shoulders back. Once you feel you've reached your maximum fold, go ahead and drop your head. Here you might even wiggle more into your sitting bones so it feels like your butt is going back, your tailbone or uh, your belly button is pulling back towards your tailbone. So you're really engaging this front of your body that's gonna help you lengthen the backside more. Slowly walk your hands back towards you. Let's scoot the hips forward, knees bent, slow 10 count lower all the way down onto your back. Arms outstretched, 10. Start lowering down, nine, eight, seven, belly button in, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All the way down, take a big stretch. Extend your arms, extend your legs, lengthen. Hug both knees into your chest. Maybe grab your ankles and then put your feet down. If that doesn't work out, just release your ankles. We're gonna go into a bridge pose, maybe grabbing the ankles. If you do that, you might need to walk your shoulder blades a little bit more underneath you to keep the grip. Firm your glutes, feel your inner thighs spiral towards each other and down. Even if you don't have the ankles, let's go ahead and lift the hips up. Drive your heels through the mat, firm your glutes for five, four, three, Two, one, release the ankles if you've got them and slowly lower your hips down. Bring your knees in towards your chest and then take your knees out towards your armpits, happy baby. Grab your feet or ankles, rock a little bit right and left.
Gentle tuck of your chin, feel your entire spine on the mat. Release that grip you've got on your feet. Let's go legs up, waterfall, or shoulder stand. Hips on the mat, or you can lift hips up. Squeeze your core from your glutes, engage your inner thighs. If you're doing that, you might want to walk your elbows in a little bit. Press the back of your skull down. Stay in shoulder stand or take your legs overhead for plow pose. Toes can be tucked or untucked. Again, keep pressing the back of your skull down. Maybe clasp your hands and drive your bind into the mat. If you'd like ear pressure pose, hug your knees towards your temples and feel a lot of rounding in your back. Breathe as deeply as you can here. I know the front of your body is pretty compressed. We'll be here for three. Two. One, from wherever you are, slowly start to lower yourself down one vertebrae at a time. We'll keep the right leg hugged in towards the chest. Extend your left leg all the way. Roll out your right ankle for a moment. And then take your right knee all the way over to the left for a twist. So look off to your right. Shoulders heavy, breathing easy. Slowly unwind through center, both knees in. Keep left leg in, extend right leg. Roll out left ankle. And then take left knee across to the right, look to your left. Slowly unwind onto your back, hug both knees into your chest. Start to make your way into a final resting position. Let your toes flop out. Just because we did a shorter class doesn't mean we skip Shavasana. Walk the shoulder blades underneath you, sprawl your arms. Allow your body to find some stillness, dropping in. Allow your breath to be natural, easy, no need to control or tense up. Notice your breath without any need to control it. Maybe focusing on the area where you feel your breath the most in your body, Shavasana. Slowly bring some gentle awareness back into your body. You might wiggle your fingers and your toes, reawaken your senses. Notice any changes you feel, mind, body, or spirit, and sweep your arms overhead. Lengthen your body, squeeze your legs, point your toes, and then hug your knees in and roll to your right or left side. Find and enjoy a moment of stillness. Take a moment of appreciation for your body, your breath, and the energy you cultivated on your mat, and gradually make your way up to a comfortable seat. 
Sit up nice and tall. Find that nice centered spot where you feel even weight distribution. A little lengthen through the crown of your head. Draw both hands to your heart center. Press your thumbs into your sternum. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Bow your head towards your heart. Thank you for sharing your energy and your practice. Namaste. Awesome work in that express 30 minutes yoga class. Good job, you guys. I hope you were able to fit this in and leave your mat feeling refreshed, revitalized, remotivated, whatever it is that you needed. If you did like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. And if there's something really specific you wanna see on my channel, I'm always open to suggestions, so go ahead and let me know that as well. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. That is the best way to support my channel. Thank you so much, and I will see you next week.